Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and welcome to episode 5 of my SPAD 13 build. Today we're going to start off with a bit of sanding on the lower wings of the SPAD. So, that looks a lot better, just brush the dust off. Not happy with this top wing colour, it's still showing pink. You can't see on here but it, it's awful. There's only one thing for it. I'm gonna give it a bath. A bath in methylated spirits. But remember kids, please be careful whilst using chemicals they are very dangerous. Yes, I know I should be using rubber gloves with this. I certainly suggest that you use rubber gloves if you're working with any chemicals. Anyway, I've put that to one side. Whilst that is soaking, I'm going to be trying some pre-shading with a brush. I'm using Tamiya X26 Clear Orange to highlight the ribs on the underside of the wing. See how that looks. I know it looks rough and ready, but to be honest, I don't think they would have been perfect, but that's my opinion. Also, I started to paint the tail, then realised it's going to be covered in a decal. So, oh! let's bring the bath in with the wing in. It was in there for about 5 or 10 minutes, it won't hurt the plastic, just the paint. So I went at it with an old toothbrush. As you can see, the layer of red paint protected the white layer below it. So I left it in the meth for a few more minutes, just to give it time to have a good old go at the white layer. This time, I remembered the glove. Ooh, hand puppets. Mm. I had to cover the fuselage there as I was scared of flicking meths onto it. There we are, one wing with all the paint and primer removed. All told it took about 20-30 mm, minutes to do. 
I should have done this straight off because it could have saved me hours. Now to give the wing a good old dry. It seems to have brought up some imperfections in the plastic. These are actually within the plastic. Interesting. Don't remember seeing those before I started. Anyway, let's crack on. I'm just going to rescribe the ailerons on the top wing. To do this, I'm using Tamiya's scribing tool initially, then a dental pick to clean it off. Now, I need to enlarge some holes for the braces. I'm using my rotary tool with a very fine drill bit that allows me to cut away some of the plastic. Now, a quick test fit. Nope, the holes are still too small. Time to remove some more plastic. Another test fit and still no banana. Third time lucky? Nope. To be honest with you, I tend to take small amounts off. It's easier to take small amounts off than to end up filling a dirty great big hole. I snapped my drill bit here. Well, I actually pulled it off. So I decided to go with my diamond bits, which don't snap as easily as the drill bits do. Have a quick test on a piece of sprue. It's just so you know how much pressure to use. You don't want to be diving in and rip straight through your plastic. There we go. Fourth time lucky and it fits a treat. Now just a bit of fettling of the other braces just to make sure. Yep, I'm happy with that fit. Right, time to do some rigging. I was pleasantly surprised how smoothly this went. It took about 40 minutes to do one side. I didn't glue the whole lot as it might have misaligned the braces and that would have made fitting the top went an absolute nightmare. But there were a couple there that I could do completely. It was an enjoyable experience. I'm not using the wire that came with the kit as it looks a bit too big so I decided to use a fine fishing line. The line that went into the fuselage I double coated with super glue that means I dipped it once in super glue let that dry then did a second dip which made the line that little bit bigger so giving it more area to attach to the fuselage.
here. I'm just finishing off the line ends because they're glued. Let's have a close up look at this rigging. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Well, that's one side done. I'll do the other side later as my poor eyes, even with my extra eyes on. Ugh. Also, one of the seat belts and a cockpit had come away, so I thought this would be a good time to reattach it. Boy, was it a pain to do. attached finally anyway here's a quick view inside the cockpit well another day another rigging session time for this side I used the same method as I did on the other side There we have both sides rigging in place. It's not all glued, but most of it is. I just need to sort out that damn top wing. Here's the offending article. Shall we crack on with it? Oh, there we go, another coat of white on there. Let's just leave that one to dry. I'm going to do some masking now. It's going to be ready to do the underside of the lower wing.
and there she is, all mashed up, ready for spraying. A quick check to make sure it's spraying correctly, and away we go. Rib lines are just about visible, but you can't see that on the camera, even though I'm happy with that. Here I'm just touching up the white on the prop. The camera doesn't pick it up, but the white looks grubby where I've been handling it. So a quick coat just to cover that up. Let's put that to one side and track on. Guess what we're doing? Yep, that goddamn top wing, the bane of my life. I want to give it several more coats of white, then leave it overnight before I mask it up again. So there's one more layer of white, I'll come back and do another in a bit. Sorry about the camera angles, I'm still learning. Time to do some unmasking, let's see how this underside turned out. I forgot to show how it turned out, so here's a picture I've taken. You can just see the orange of the ribs. Time to paint the metal plate on the prop. I'm using Tamiya's X32 Titanium Silver. This is not as bright as the other silvers in the Tamiya range, and I think this looks great at this scale. There we go, bit of a wash on that and it'll look grand. Here, I'm just picking out some raised details on the wheels with the X32. That really was a quick show there, but I'm happy with it. I also really must learn to make these show sections a bit longer. When you're doing them, they always seem long, but never are when you look back on them. Right, time to paint the ribs. Firstly, I'm giving them a coat of buff as the base coat for the wood. Next, I give them a mahogany glaze to add to the effect. Yet another quick flash, but I'm liking the look I'm getting. Mm. 
Now on to the exhaust. I'm using dark copper here just to get the initial colour. There you go, both exhausts have their initial colour. I popped one of the rigging lines, so I had to reattach it. <sighs> Bit of a mess this was, it took me over five minutes to reattach it. Here's me trying to do it, using the speedy uppy thing. There we go, nicely attached. So, there you go for this episode. Remember, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, get the message out there to as many modelers as possible, like the video, ring my bell, and remember, stay safe, keep on modeling.